This video contains flashing colours, screen shakes and fast motion effects. For this one we're going to take a look at how to do a RGB split, a screen shake and the audio waveform with the waves. Just like always you want to get yourself a new composition. In here we're going to set it to 1920 by 1080, keep it on locked, have it on square pixels, keep the frame rate on 30, have it on full resolution and then you want to set the duration of the project to what your song is. You want to leave the background color on normal and then you want to go ahead and press OK. You want to highlight your image and your song and then drag it into the timeline. We're going to start off with the image first. So if you press S on your keyboard and then set the size to 43%. Next up, you want to open up the song and then set this to minus five. We're going to start off with the audio spectrum. So to do that, you want to right click in the empty area, go to new and then solid in here, leave it as normal and then press OK. You want to go over to the effects and presets. If you don't have it open, you can go to window and then effects and presets right there. So you want to pretty much search in audio and then audio spectrum right there. You want to left click and drag this into your new solid. So starting off first, you want to link it with your audio. So to do this, you go to audio layer and then set this one to number three. Once you've done that, we're going to start off with the start point, which is going to be one. And then you want to set this one to 900. You want to set the end point to 1925 and then 900 again. You also want to click on the solid layer and then press P on your keyboard. We're going to set the location. So 960 and then the other one to 717. Next up, we're going to leave the start frequency on 20. We're going to change the end frequency to 150. We're going to change the number of bands to 1000. Put the maximum height to 1700, audio duration on 100. We're going to change the thickness to 5, put the softness on 0. We're going to change the color to a pure white color, so FFF. And then finally, you want to go down to where it says side options and then set it to side A. So that means it will only go up. Now that you've done that, you can minimize this one. So next up, we're going to create the RGB split. So to do this, you want to go on your image, press control D three times, and then you want to hold shift and click on the bottom one. Once you've done that, you want to right click on here and then go to pre-comp. In here, we're going to call it glitch RGB, move all attributes into the new composition and then press OK. You want to double left click on it to open it up. And we're going to start to set the first one to a red color for the label. So we know which one's which. Next one to the blue and then last one to a green. Once you've done that, you want to go back to the effects and presets and type in set and then get yourself a set channel. Once you've done that, you want to pretty much on the red one, you want to turn off the green and then turn off the blue. So now we have a pure red color. Next up, we're going to hide this one and then move on to the blue. Go to set color, get rid of red, get rid of green, and now I've got a blue. And finally, for the last one, set channels, Turn off the red color and then turn off the blue color. So now you just have a green. So if we quickly preview this, we have red, we have blue, and then we have green. Now what you want to do is you want to get yourself a wiggle effect. So if you type in wiggle and then get yourself a wiggle position, drag this underneath it. And you want to set the seconds to one and then the amount to 70. And this will pretty much make it move, as you can see. We're going to go over to the blue color and then we're going to get ourselves a wiggle position, set the seconds to 0.8 and then the amount to 60. And then finally for the last one, we're going to go over to the green wiggle position, set this one to 0.5 and then the amount to 80. You also want to go where the mode is and then set this one to add, set the other one to add. So pretty much add them all with the add effect. And as you can see, now we have the RGB glitch. What you want to do now is you want to go back to your main comp and then in here, you want to go to your audio layer, right click on it and then go to keyframe assistant and then convert to keyframes. 
what this will do is it will give you this right here. So you will have the effects and then you'll have left, right and both. You want to get rid of left and right and just have both. We're going to open this up. Next up, you want to go to your glitch RGB and then in here you want to go and search for wiggle effect again and get yourself a wiggle position. Once you've done that, you want to go over to where it says wiggle speed and then you want to hold alt and click on the stopwatch. In here, you want to type in zero plus and then you want to get yourself the pick whip right here and drag this down to the slider. Then you want to click off it. You also want to do it to the amount. So if you go back up, hold alt, click on the stopwatch. Once again, zero plus, drag the pick whip down here. And then at the end of it, you want to type in times 0.7. You also want to open up your audio amplitude again, hold alt, click on the stopwatch for the opacity, type in zero plus, and then once again, drag it down to the slider. And then at the end of it, you want to type in times three and then click off it. And that is pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you'd like to see more audio tutorials, you can always go onto my channel. I have two other ones. But anyway, I will see you all in my next video.